110 cooks attached to 67 of the island's 73 primary schools will be trained in food safety and quality, food preparation, handling and management, and the delivery of safe and nutritious lunches for school-aged children. This latest action launched on the eve of St. Lucia's independence celebrations this year seeks to ensure that the relaunched school feeding program meets its main project objectives of addressing several of the sustainable development goals for food and nutrition security, agriculture, health and education. National Project Coordinator of the School Feeding Program, Cherry Ann Smith, says her task and that of the sub-regional office of the Food and Agriculture Organization is to implement all activities under the Mexico CARICOM FAO Initiative, Cooperation for Climate Change Adaptation and Resilience in the Caribbean, for which the Sustainable Food Feeding Initiative is a pivotal undertaking. Our understanding is that the school feeding pro program in St. Lucia and elsewhere have long been established and is recognized as an important instrument in facilitating learning, especially for the poor and vulnerable school children. One of the most important human resource investment that a country can make is to support the health, nutrition, and learning of its children. Charge d'affaires of the Mexican Embassy, Carlos Gonzalez Osuna says, his government will continue to partner on interests of mutual concerns to St. Lucia and Mexico and looks forward to the completion of project activities under the National School Feeding Program. It is for me an honor and satisfaction to participate in this ceremony that marks the launch of the training for cooks. I am very excited to, to hear you uh, talk about the, the, the training. I know that the, the, the cooks will be uh, in good hands. They are in good hands and which is part of the project of a uh, resilient school feeding program, part of the Mexico CARICOM FAO initiative, aimed to mitigate the economic and social impacts generated by the COVID-19 pandemic and that benefits 14 countries in the region, including the six Eastern Caribbean states. On this occasion, I would like to emphasize that the cooperation provided by the government of Mexico, together with the development of political dialogue is the most important aspect of our overall relations with St. Lucia and with the Eastern Caribbean states. The training for school cooks will span a seven-week period, after which the Sustainable School Feeding Initiative will make moves to train farmers and extension officers in safe food handling and management techniques and reconditioning school kitchens to meet international food safety standards. From the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Amanda Fay Clark reporting.